So today I'm going to tell you a story, and the story is about this. Before I tell you that story though, I need to give you a bit of background information on myself which relates to the story. Essentially, I really like Coca-Cola. It's just my drink of choice. Now of course when I tell people this, they get rice on my back, because people like nothing if not to judge. They're like, oh my god, it's so bad for you, it's so unhealthy. They're like, oh it's got so much sugar, oh it'll rot your teeth, did you never do that science experiment? And like that science experiment where you put a tooth into a petri dish, you pour the Coca-Cola in it, and then you leave it overnight, and in the morning it's eroded slightly. I mean, I don't know how you drink Coca-Cola, but I don't take a swig and then go, or wash it all around my mouth and hold it there for eight hours. In fact, it hardly even touches my teeth. Also, I have perfect teeth, so whatever. And they're also like, oh, it's so bad for your health. Do you know what I haven't been in seven years? Ill. I'm healthy, I have great teeth, I do sport, I'm fine. They are like, oh, but isn't all that calories bad for your health, all that sugar? Isn't that at least bad for your health, do you know what I mean? They're like, I, okay, I admit, I drink a lot of Coca-Cola, that amount of sugar isn't probably good for me. But I counter that by drinking Coke Zero. And they're like, oh, but that's even worse. How is that even worse? They're like, oh, God, it's got chemicals in it. What about the cancer? No, no, not what about the cancer. What about your research? Do you actually know what you're talking about? Essentially there's this chemical in diet products which is called aspartame and when it breaks down it creates phenylalanine. I think that's his name and there's a group out there who say oh that's, this causes cancer however this chemical is actually found in chewing gum, puddings, frozen desserts it's used in makeup, it's a natural byproduct of exhaust fumes and all in higher concentrations than in diet drinks so basically by going outside you're being less healthy than I am also, ignoring the fact that none of these studies actually proved it causes it, in fact, most studies prove that it doesn't, the acceptable daily allowance is like 20 cans of Coke. I could drink 20 cans of Coke a day and only just reap the acceptable daily intake. So, the point of that little rant was to just instill it into you that I like Coke Zero. And this helps you understand the next part of my story a little bit more. So, I was in a shopping centre and it was a really hot day and I thought I need a nice cold beverage so I went to a vending machine, there was two Coca Cola vending machines I went to the first one, money in, money in, money in drop out, drop out, drop out and I did this a few times and then I was just like this just isn't accepting coins so I went to the other machine, put my money in, I pressed the buttons and it worked but nothing happened and I was like are you kidding me? I have just paid for a drink, I am quite thirsty you have taken my money I went upstairs to the little reception bit in the shopping centre and I was like, just to let you know, one of your vending machines doesn't accept money and the other doesn't vend products. Now, I didn't do this for my money back, I did this just to be nice. And the woman we owned the section was like, would you like me to call Coca-Cola for you? And I was like, what? She's like, yeah, we can call Coca-Cola now, get them on the phone and give you a refund. I was like, yes, do that, that's brilliant. You're going to call Coca-Cola for me and get me a refund. I want to see this. And she's like, here you go, speak to them. I'm like, hello, Coca-Cola. And that was really surreal. I'm just chatting to Coca-Cola on the phone just about their vending machine problems. And they're like, oh, sorry, sir, we'll get you a refund right out. And I was like, that's fine, you know, <laughs> sure. Now, in the post yesterday, I received this. I didn't know what it was at first, and then I opened it up and it's a lovely letter from Coca-Cola just saying thanks for registering for your refund we hope this inconvenience will not prejudice your view against future purchase of our products it won't and then they apologise which is really nice and then they send through these vouchers really posh foil and stuff vouchers I don't even know if I want to spend these by the way if anyone ever thinks oh Danny needs a present then vanilla coke zero that'd be great because I've run out. 